previously on The Season. Who said I wasn't going to pick it up? I'm a bad man from the country. Today we're playing on unified teams for Special Olympics Mississippi. We're going to keep this trophy here in Oxford. Sound good? Yeah! Um, they really see that we're just not these big, rough and tough guys. We're we're all still kids at heart, and uh, we enjoy doing things like this. It seemed like just yesterday, we was coming here every morning for summer workout. You, you kind of get choked up and emotional at what, what this class has been able to do, especially the guys that were here when we got here. Well, they're the first class that uh, they believe what we were saying and then chose to come join us. And without kids buying into your vision and to your core values, you know, none of this is possible. You don't go to four straight bowl games. You know, they're about to graduate and they start thinking about their life, you know, what I'm going to do next, what's going to be my next step. Ole Miss is definitely a place you know, that I always love forever. And I'm telling you, in Coach Luke's words, put the ball down. Draw a line and take a stand. If they want it, come get it. Runs out to his right, hit as he fires. It's picked off by Ole Miss. Down the sidelines goes Bridges. He's taking it to the house. One man to beat. He makes a sidestep to the 10, to the 5. He's in the end zone here in the left corner. I love this team. We fight to the end. And we add both champs again, baby. The bottom line, baby, you hold the Magnolia Bowl trophy and the Sweet Egg Bowl trophy. Hey, like we said today, if you want it, come here. State Sugar Bowl here at the Superdome in New Orleans. It gives you chills, doesn't it? Nothing like college football. It is the All-State Sugar Bowl. Old Miss in this game for the first time since 1970. Archie Manning got them here. Well, anytime Old Miss and the Sugar Bowl are used in the same sentence, it's uh, is something that uh, just spurs emotions in, in all the Rebel fans. Growing up playing in the SEC, that's the bowl game you always wanted to go to and, and to have the opportunity to, to coach in it and, uh, and, and to win it. Uh, it means a lot to, to me, to, to this program, and to our fan base. I mean, everybody, everybody talks about the Sugar Bowl. I mean, because that was just the greatest, that's the greatest bowl you could really play in. Big time, big time game, you know, big time stadium. Got the lights, cameras, action. Yeah, it was just ready to come out and play. Well, everybody was excited. It was uh, another opportunity at New Year's Six Bowl. Um, once we found out that we were going, you know, guys were really starting to get motivated and were ready to get back to practice and try and get back in that rhythm and get the mindset of, you know, going out on top. Uh, it was synonymous with a great year if you got to go represent this conference in the Sugar Bowl. And it's a very, very positive thing, especially with this program being 46 years removed from Archie leading us there. All of that kind of played into it for, for me and, and for many Rebel fans. Look, I've never had so much fun in four years of my life, all right? We've had long, lasting relationships for the last lifetime right here. It's all coming together right here for one last time with this group. Glad ride for the scene, you know we're going to put it down, baby. We're going to hit everything that moves, pick everything that flies. Let's go. We ain't got to talk. Let's go out here and show it. We got to put it on the field. Let's go the world, baby. It's time to go out with a bang, dog. Have fun, baby. Have fun. Play fast. Play physical. And let's take this game. Let's go. We've been waiting our whole life for this. Let's go. Hey, y'all already know it's starting to report, baby. O-line, D-line, baby. Love y'all, boy, baby. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it, baby. Right here. Right here. Y'all three. Give us up. Hey, y'all already know what it is, bro. We all we got. We all we need. We all we got. We all we need. Took us all three. One, two, three. Six. Hey, all week long we talked about time. Here's, here's a few things we learned about time. There's a time to be born. 
All of you experience that. There's a time to die. At some point, we'll experience that. There's a time to sow. We've done that through our four years here. There's a time to reap. Tonight is that time that, that you should reap. I was a kid, man, run, running cable cords across the wall so that I could watch every New Year's Day game. There was. True story, man. That's what we did on New Year's Day. And, man, the climax of that was always the Sugar Bowl. And tonight you get to play in the first ever Champions Bowl representing our great university and our great conference. Represent it well. Hey, there's a time to weep. Have we done any of that? Yes, sir. We've had some of that. We've had some disappointments. We've had some things not go our way. We've had some bad choices at times. But through it all, man, through it all, there's also a time to laugh. Have we had some of that? Yes, sir. Man, we've had some dang giddy moments. I think about my whip on the sideline at Auburn. That's classic, man. Come on. Really? I mean, that's good stuff, isn't it, Bridges? I'm whipping twice tonight, whoever brings me the ball. There's a whip. And then, what's the name? name? What, this is the name, name? Is that the dad? What is that? Yeah. Do that, too. When I think about the word time that we've talked about all week long, I think about the tea that says together, man. I think about the family that drove from Iuka, Mississippi, or Collins, Mississippi, or Alligator, Mississippi, and guess what? That ticket ain't cheap. At all. It ain't cheap. They can't afford to stay in a hotel in New Orleans, so they're going to drive back tonight when that game's over across the state line, and if they're still awake, they'll go home. If they're not, they'll find a Motel 6 across the state line. That's real talk. That's together. That's who showed up to see you play tonight. Tonight, it's time for you to find it. It's time for you to recognize all that's yours. Go take it. They want that darn trophy, just like the Egg Bowl and the Magnolia Bowl. They want it. Then tell them, put the ball down and come get it. 46 years in the making. It is electric. Unbelievable old Miss crowd. I played the, the Hotty Toddy song a little while ago. You got a real sense of just how many old Miss fans are in here. It's loud. The greatest years in old Miss history have always culminated with a Super Bowl. They're back. Here come the Rebels. Are you ready to play some football? Man, we've been talking about this and playing in New Orleans for a week. It's time to play a game. It certainly is, Dave. We've been excited about it. Here we go with the opening kickoff. And here it is. We're underway in the Sugar Bowl. A draw play on first down. Walton breaks a tackle. He's got a first down. A gain of 13 on the first snap of the game for the Rebels. His first pass, low, but scooped up by Evan Ingram. He breaks a tackle. He's got another first down for Ole Miss across the 50. Play action for Kelly, looking downfield. He wants the deep ball to Treadwell. In a double coverage, and it's an interception. Ashton Lampkin on the return. We talked a moment ago about the role turnovers could play. Already the first takeaway, and we have yet to play 90 seconds. Well, I, I didn't. I wasn't too concerned because we were moving the football and felt like we could going in. Was concerned about uh, you know stopping their passing game. It was one of the best in the nation. Uh, but the three points that they got, uh, there were two penalties, and we bowed our neck in the red zone. And it's one of the things we preached was just hold them to field goal opportunities. And so you know that that happened. And if you preach that all, you got to be okay with that. So felt felt pretty good at that moment. The snapper is Josh Elias. Bryant Reber is the holder. There's the kick, and it's good. So he connects on the chip shot, and Oklahoma State strikes first. Field goals will not beat you. They will not beat you. That's on a short field. You did everything you could right there on a short field. Not a way to freaking play, man. Not a way to make it stop on second one. Second and one or 31. Are you kidding me? We shot ourselves in the foot. All right, and they only special got teams and things like that. We shot ourselves in the foot. Settle down, control your emotions. Everybody had to relax, you know. Everybody was hyped up, pumped up, ready for the game. So, you know, I mind racing, you know, they went a little fast. So. It didn't catch us off guard. We knew it was coming, but you know we just had to get the rhythm of things. Guys was just 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 locked back in, settled down. It's a big, it's a really big game. I mean, let's settle down and play rebel football. Play, let's play land shark defense. Of course, 
uh, our offense tempo's first series is going to be their fastest, of course, because they have a, a certain plays that they know they're going to run for sure. So uh, after that first series, everybody got adjusted and we were able to settle down, you know, just focus on us and it's not about what they do. So guys were focused and, you know, were able to catch their breath and really settle in and run the defense. Here they go again, right back to the line of scrimmage again. Yeah, it's fast break football, David. Tempo, obviously Oklahoma State knows how to run this. They're going to fill the air up tonight. Play action here on second down. Under pressure and set. C.J. Johnson came through on the blitz. And a big negative play. He's going to hand it off, then they hand it off again on a reverse to the near side. That's Washington. Washington trying to find a little room. He does get it up to the 26 and picks up a yard. But the Rebels really sniffed that one out nicely. Brewed off. Under pressure, looking at the rush, and there's a reason. DJ Jones gets the Ole Miss sack. Hey, they're going fast. They're going fast. Everybody good? Now, here's the thing about that. They've had that set for three weeks. They have all their plays ready for three weeks. Now they can't do that. Once they get going in this game, they got to think and they got to start reacting. We'll be fine. Got it? Great job. No points right there. Great job. They're a good football team. Um, no doubt about it, or they wouldn't have been there. Um, but we knew we, if we stay patient and stay with our game plan and, and get, gave our playmakers a chance to get the ball in their hands, that we could make something happen. And uh, we stayed the course, and then uh, fireworks started going crazy around there. Floating it down the sideline for the tight end. He makes a spectacular catch. Evan Ingram climbed the ladder. Brought down at the Oklahoma State 31. And now play action again. The Rebels to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be wide open at the five. Catches it and in the end zone. That's Cody Core for the touchdown. The Rebels burn the Cowboys with two quick strikes. The Rebels go 59 yards on those two passes. The trip to the right. Play action. Kelly has time in the pocket. Throws deep to Treadwell. Near side, one-on-one. -on -one. He's got it. Touchdown, Rebels. Kevin Peterson's faced all the Belitnikoff Award winners, and he knew what he was going to be up against. He knew that he'd be out on that island in one-on-one -on -one situations. Some contact both ways, and there you just see the one-handed phenomenal strength of Laquan Treadwell. So I'm on the sideline, and, and I see the coverage, and I know it's going to him because uh, they gave us the look we wanted. And, and uh, when he caught it, I thought for sure they were going to call offensive pass interference because he, he was all tangled up with the DB, and then I thought he dropped it. And then uh, somebody on the headset said, nah, he caught that as a touchdown. And I said, well, he's better than I thought he was. <laughs> hey, I didn't think he caught it. Oh, baby. You never know, but he was great in that coordination. It's not, but well, you had that boy like, boom, he caught you. Did you one handed? He can make those plays, and he makes them look easy. And uh, that just shows that he's talented, and uh, he works on that stuff. One handed, boy, let's see. Keep eating, oh. Keep eating, oh, huh? The Rebels hand it off off the right side of the 30, 35, still on his feet as a keen judge as he breaks the tackle the 45. Backwards pass to Treadwell. He's going to throw it and running under it is Jordan Wilkins. He's got it in the 20 and tackled at the 15 yard line. Little you freeze. Here in the dome tonight. TCU near, ran nearly the exact same play against them last year, and it is just a turn of events. 180 the other way as Ole Miss has really got Oklahoma State reeling. Judd off his right shoulder, fires the end zone, touchdown, Laquan Treadwell. Rebel fans, you've got two and a half quarters to enjoy this guy. The junior is going pro. He can say what he wants to say to the papers, but he's done his work, and I don't think Hugh Freeze will have any issues with it. And he's showing off exactly why McShay has him number one on his board. Using the big frame on the slant route, Oklahoma State right now has no answers. Pretty good throw. Make it with a glove on or off? I just think our, our offense was playing as, you know, at the end of the year we had great confidence. And when you have that confidence and that swagger and, and guys that can make plays, uh, I think everyone just believes it's just a matter of time before we start, you know, putting points on the board and making explosive plays that they result in points for us. And that's kind of what the end of our season was like. And, uh, they never wavered in that belief. So I really just think it's, it's being who we think we are at that moment. 31-yard field goal effort for Ben Grogan. Snap back and down, the kick is on its way. And he got it, nice kick for Grogan. So Oklahoma State adds three more, their second field goal of the game out of Grogan. Good stop, boy. No TDs, baby, no TDs. Good stop. Good 
Watch out. Two field goals. Two field goals. What we say? Field goals ain't going to beat you in this shootout. What? With a comfortable lead, the Rebels were all smiles. And with a minute 17 left in the first half, they were poised for a drive to remember. Well, it's, it's one of those moments where you, you actually are not sure when the drive starts what you're going to do. Uh, we started with a run, got about eight yards if my memory serves me correct. So, you know, let's see how the next play goes. And then Chad scrambles, I believe, for a, for a nice gain to convert third down. Third and 16 to the 30-yard line. Kelly runs to his left, steps up, pump fakes. He's going to run right down the hash, the 20, the 15, the 10. Dive! to the six-yard line. It's first and goal for Ole Miss. Clock stops with 14 seconds as they'll move the change. And uh, he's only got nine seconds. Got to snap it and do something. He's going to throw in the end zone. One-on-one right side. Incomplete. There's a flag. Cody Core was the intended receiver. Good coverage by Hunter, but then he followed it into pass interference. rule, the ball be placed in the two-yard line. First down. So what do you do here, guys? Do you kick it or do you roll the dice and try to score? Well, it was 27-6, I believe, at that moment. Um, you Obviously, probably the smart thing to do is kick the field goal. But I, I just, you, you have gut feelings as a coach uh, sometimes that, you know, this could be a dagger. Uh, that's just Coach Free. That's, that's how that, I've been around him for a long time now. And I've never known him. If he has a chance to put uh, points on the board, with a touchdown, he's going to take it instead of kicking a field goal every chance he gets. Now an interesting call here for Ole Miss. They're out of timeouts, five seconds to go. It looks like they're going to go for a touchdown. You better throw it into the end zone, and you better not waste any time if you're Kelly running around. Kelly on a roll with a little throwback. Who makes the catch? Larry B. Tunsil with the touchdown. Oh Talk about trickeration. The two of his buddies to lead him into the end zone. <laughs> I said, no, they didn't. <laughs> I was like, it didn't work, man. It worked. Oh, man, that was just a dagger. I wasn't expecting Coach to actually run it, but as the play was going on and the motion was happening, I thought they were about to run it. So as soon as I saw Chad roll out to the right, I said, he's open. It's one of those things that, you know, 90, 98% of the time, it's never, ever going to get called. Uh, you work on it. The old linemen love it. Um, but it just so happened we just got the pass interference. Uh, ball was on the two-yard line. I heard it um, in Spanish on Twitter. It was crazy, too. Man. Espanol. Goal. Kelly con el pase. De Cortina. Completo. Touchdown. Y el touchdown para Ole Miss. Everybody was just going crazy because, I mean, it was old linemen. Like, you don't see an old lineman really catch a ball, do anything. It's fun to see them guys really celebrate like that and have opportunity to really just enjoy their moment and get their shine because, you know, they might not get much love, but for that moment, I can tell they all embraced it. It deserved all the celebration that it got. It needed that. that the crowd went live. Everybody went crazy. Well, it was really the last thing that I had told him throughout the recruiting process. That, uh, that we needed to accomplish. Uh, everything that I told him throughout recruiting has, has come true, uh, and he hadn't scored a touchdown. And uh, that was another thing that played into it, is I just I wanted to give him an opportunity to do that, and um, I'm glad it worked. Well, what a big first half for the SEC. Ole Miss leading 34 to six. Thus far, you have, you have made the most of your moment. <coughs> In, in, a, in a great venue of the Sugar Bowl, playing for the SEC's pride. However, a game is not won in two quarters. And they can score in a hurry. <coughs> put it away. So let's put the game away every possession. Enjoy the time we have together in this venue, but let's do it right with a lot of energy. And let's finish this night right. <laughs> finish it right. Yes, let's kick this thing off. Get it down there and go cover. Get us a turnover. Let's put this thing away. Take a stand. One, two, three. We saw one of them come back in another bowl game from like 31-0 down. And um, you just you have that in the back of your mind that if they got some momentum and we didn't continue to move the ball and control the clock some offensively, that you know that you could end up being in a fight. The guys was like, no, nah, it can't be a fall off. We, we four quarters, 
uh, we're going to hit you hard and we're going to hit you every time. Hey, wow. hey, live round, get to the ball. They may try to go tempo, get lined up. Like you're you're continuing to put a dominant performance on field. They're going to talk about it for years. But well, you got to end it like this. Start off the second half with a near pick six. They had minus one rushing yards in the first half. Nowhere to go with the football. That is coverage downfield. C.J. Johnson checks in at right defensive end now. Three-man rush for Ole Miss on third and eight. Back to throw, Rudolph. And the dominance continues. Rudolph sacked back at the 30-yard line. A little fins up out of C.J. the senior. C.J. just did a great job. Spin move on that right side. If you if you fake like you're going inside when the ball snaps, the chip are just going to release. That's what the back did. Like, when I came out the ball, I stepped in like that, and he soft set. So I went in, and I went in, I spit back out. And the back wasn't even up. So basically, give him the play by play. <laughs> hey, and that's, that's how it's the veteran done, giving the rookie some tips. <laughs> Oh, so you get a couple All Americans now. You think you a vet? Whoa! Get a drink, bro. Get a drink. Uh, I think defense start hitting them in the mouth a lot more. Uh, they weren't being as physical as we were. I mean, going into the game, everybody was like physical, physical. SEC football, SEC defense, land shark defense. Uh, got to hit them. Got to hit both the quarterbacks. It don't matter who's in the game. Somebody got to get hit. All we heard was about is uh, Oklahoma State going to put up a 50 or more on this Ole Miss defense. So we took that as disrespect. And guys were really just like, all right, you know, they're, they're really, you know, uh, disrespecting our defense, saying we're not as good as we used to be. So we went out there uh, with a chip on our shoulder and wanted to prove a point. I, I just thought we controlled the line of scrimmage. We were able to stop the run without committing extra people to the box, uh, which enabled us to, to really play other guys in coverage. To see them put it all together one night to, to uh, shut down a, a high-powered offense as Oklahoma State is, uh, I know Coach Womack and, and the D staff, they did an awesome job, and the kids bought in, and they just played hard. It was like, just show who, show them who the SEC is. Like, that's just everybody at Mo. Mike coming down here, and of course, Mike gonna come down. You got Trey crazy, going crazy up top. Like, he hitting people, he going crazy. It's his last game. Oh, man, it was just, guys, was just like, let's have fun. Hey, Woo! Hey, you think? Y'all tired of saying? Y'all good? Hey. He snapped at the 16 by Will Few, and there's the snap back, and Wonderlick kicks it away. Nice, high, deep kick, nosing down to McCleskey at the 36, and he makes one man miss. Now runs and loses the ball. It's on the ground, and it's recovered by Ole Miss at the 41. Freeland speaks, we believe, on the recovery there. The big guy. Look at him come out of that pile with the ball. Look what I got. He takes it to Coach Freeze and hands him the football. They do a little dance on the sideline. 47-yard punt, and it was lost there by McCleskey. Come on, come on Jay Bell. Come on, Freeland. Hey, hey, let's go. Go play ball. Out your people. Let's go. Ingram in motion, settles behind the right tackle. The handoffs to Wilkins off the right side. He's got some room. Wilkins again. This time he's into the secondary. And he's into the end zone. Blocked inside, right through the A-gap. I mean, the, the C's opened up right through the middle. Jordan Wilkins into the secondary. Turned on the Jets as a 220-pounder would do. Good run there by Jordan. Nobody gets a hand on him as he races into the end zone. Come on, Jordan. Hey, hey Jay. Hey, wait, hit that little thing, boy. Oh, yeah. And that's the end of the third quarter, though, goes to all zeros. And after three, Ole Miss leading the Sugar Bowl 41 to 13 over Oklahoma State. Here's fourth quarter, no rebel, still on top all day. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Puts Walton in motion, so it becomes an empty set. He looks to throw, steps up in the pocket, pump fakes, is going to run, and he'll get to midfield. Gets a block, and down the near side is the 40. He's at the 35. Chad may go. He'll get to the 20, trying to get away from a man and knocked out of bounds around the 15 yard line. For a single season total offense, only Johnny Manziel. That's it in the history of this conference with all the players that have come through. It's because the second leading rusher now, nearly 500 yards rushing, combined with 4,000 passes. Pretty good stuff. Quan Treadwell needs one more touchdown catch, which will be his third for the game and would break the Ole Miss record for touchdown catches in a season. Currently held by Dante Moncrief and Chris Powell. 
both with 10. There's the throw, 101 far side. That might be it. Touchdown! Laquan Treadwell makes the grab, and he is the new Ole Miss record holder for touchdowns in a season. His third of this game as he slips by Feed Moncrief and Chris Collins, who caught all those passes, of course, from Eli. He's the best. I mean, the numbers don't lie. Humble guy always working. I mean, that's Quan. He hungry. He, he wants to be the best. Yeah. He's a competitor. Top notch. Um, he's a leader. He, he's a fiery guy. He, he's everything you want in a football player. Before the game, we didn't think he'd get three touchdowns in the game. Uh, we knew he needed three to break it. And we, we knew he had some chances at some other records. And we we're like, OK, we can get those. Like, he'll get those. But three touchdowns in the Sugar Bowl, I don't know about that one. And uh, you know what? He did it. I couldn't be more proud. I think the guy from the injury to this Sugar Bowl, I think he became a better player than he was before the injury. Now, could that have happened without the injury? Of course it could, but it makes it a better story uh, to show what a man can do when he's determined. You never want to see anybody get hurt, but uh, the injury was might have been one of the best things to happen to him because he knew then that uh, the game can't be taken away from him and, and humbled him. He worked hard and he grew up and uh, to know that I was there with him, uh, you know, it was all God blessed, God, God ordained, but uh, for me to be able to be with him through all of all the ups and downs and uh, to see uh, the good and bad of him um, and to see where he is now, it's a uh, you know, it's an honor and a blessing uh, to be able to do that. To see him, you know, break records and, and to catch that last touchdown, which broke the single season receiving touchdown record. And I think that was his last play. So he and Larry may go out on their last plays with touchdowns. That's, that's pretty special to end a, uh, you know, a remarkable career. Hey, hey, Juan, Juan. I love you. Just shut it down. Sugar Bowl, so you want to dump something that's sweet. That makes sense. So you dump Gatorade instead of water on Coach Street. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to hug him like this be like, Coach, I love you, appreciate it. It's been a good ride. And when I step back, that's when y'all just hit him. But now y'all get me over here mad. Look. Yeah. Us going to two. New Year's six bowl games in a row speaks a lot about where we are. But then to, to be able to go out to other recruits now and saying, here is what we told some of these guys would happen. And here's my track record with it. And now you can do the same thing. So to take this program from there to this point where we hit the road tomorrow and, and, and going out and saying, well, here's exactly what happened with Laramie, Laquan, Rob, and those guys that, uh, that chose to believe in doing something new and fresh at uh, Ole Miss. Now we get to do the same with, with other guys, and that gives it such validity that uh, I don't know that I could tell you in words how important that is. My heart is just burst with so much um, pride. I, you know, you walk around with your Ole Miss stuff on, and, and for me and, and for our fans that beat, be able to say, yes, I am an Ole Miss Rebel. And, and when you say it, you mean it, and, and people know who you are. Finally, like, our name is put back up uh, with the winners, and um, I feel like everybody felt that way. It was just uh, um, a weight lifted off our shoulders. I, I, was, I was just lost for words. You know, my last game uh, in the Sugar Bowl, win the Sugar Bowl, it, you, it, you couldn't beat it, I don't think. The joy that I see people experiencing from watching our Rebels play, particularly in a Sugar Bowl game, uh, 
46 years removed from when Archie led us there um, is, is pretty dang special. Just so thankful for Rebel Nation and the opportunities that I had to play here, man. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. It's a sugar sweet. Oh, oh so sweet. Oh so sweet. Hey, it's just an amazing season, man. You know, we real blessed, you know. Just in, I mean, I, I'm just ecstatic right now. I really don't know what to say, but it's just a beautiful feeling, to be honest with you. You know, especially to go out like this. You know, it's bittersweet leaving my teammates, but you know, they know I love them. You know, I had a, had a talk with you of them after the game, so. You know, it's going to be something special, something special. Yeah. yeah, I'm proud of all these guys, man. They're putting a lot of work, man. This whole journey just started last year, man, the offseason. You know, Chad Kelly, you know, he won MVP, but people don't see how hard he worked for that. People don't see how many times he was, you know, in the summer for extra work, you know, working on his shoulder and all that other stuff. I know because I was there doing the same thing. Just to end my senior year this way, go out Sugar Bowl champs. You know, with the guys I came in with and the guys I met. Oh, yeah. oh Coach, look, come on, man. We're just having fun. Come on. Yeah, I'm too blessed to be with these people, man. It's a blessing. It's just a blessing. Man, man, it feels good to win the Super Bowl. Man, it's a great moment, man. My seniors, my boys went out with a bang. I'm glad, you know, what Coach heard, you know. <laughs> hey, Sugar Bowl champ. Yeah. We ain't just at the Sugar Bowl. We yeah. came and took it. Yeah, came and took it. That's that right, little man? Everybody wants to see the ball in. 